Hello, welcome to my BCM112 Alien text analysis tutorial. So, today I'm going to teach you how to install Alien, how to use it, um, and a little bit what it's a little bit about what it does. So, um, it's basically a text analysis. So, you use it in conjunction with uh, Google Sheets um, to basically analyze text to determine several things about it. Um, so today we're going to use it to analyze a bunch of tweets about the new Mad Max movie. So to get started, uh, go to alien.com, um, I'll put the link in the description. You go to text analysis for Google Sheets and press get started. This will take you to the Google Sheets add-on page. And there's lots of useful information here if you want to read it, but we can just hit the little plus button and that'll get it installed for us. First you have to accept a few permissions. Um, there'll be a little box here, hit continue and then basically just agree and accept to this and it'll get it all installed for you. So as you can see it's just working through it now, change is saved, text analysis is added, so here we go. You can start, but we don't have any tweets in here. So I went ahead and put a bunch of tweets in, so I'm just going to refresh the page so the add-on is working. You go to add-ons, text analysis, start. That will bring up this box here. Now there's lots of options, um, you can choose extraction, summarization, classification, semantic labeling, all these sorts of things, but today we're going to do sentiment analysis, which basically determines whether it's a positive, negative or neutral tweet. And to get started, you have to select, make sure you select all, so you can just press the first one, hold shift, press the last one, it'll select all of them, and then just make sure you have it selected on tweet, and hit analyze and that will go through and analyze each individual tweet. So, as you can see, it tells you whether it's subjective or objective, and positive, neutral, or negative. Now, sometimes it doesn't always 100% work. Um, for instance, uh, this one doesn't appear to be negative, although it has listed it as negative, and obviously sometimes you get uh, objective and subjective mixed up just like these ones but um, really useful for analyzing large amounts of tweets um, unfortunately you have to copy and paste these in individually um, which can be a bit of a hassle but this is a really interesting way to analyze Twitter uh, posts so um, I hope you enjoy so thank you very much